Hello everyone. Welcome again to this interesting course on media and information literacy. I remain yours truly, Dr. Helen Ambassador Brickings. In this lecture, we shall examine the medium and the message. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to identify various kinds of media of communication, explain the idea that the medium is the message, describe factors that determine choice of media, highlight the importance of communication messages. Introduction. Communication messages are transmitted through various means to the audience. Messages and the channels through which they are transmitted are very important. Several factors account for the choice of media through which messages are relayed. Some of such factors are the message, media reach and coverage, objectives of the communication effort and budget. The messages are of importance as communication cannot be said to have taken place without a message. All elements in the communication process are important. Let us examine the medium. The medium of communication is the means through which the message is transmitted. Media is the plural form of medium and broadly speaking, any channel of communication. Major traditional media of communication are books, newspapers, magazines, radio, television, telephone, word of mouth, film, banners and billboards. Media also include digital media comprising an array of physical, virtual and other forms such as floppy disks, hard drives, computer networks and internet platforms. Mass communication channels are often collectively referred to as the media. Other forms of media include channels utilized by traditional and rural communities to meet their information and entertainment needs, examples of which are folk media, the town crier, and interactions at the marketplace and the village square. Marshall McLuhan, a 20th century Canadian professor of English and media theorist, in his book of 1964, titled Understanding the Media, the Extensions of Man, observed that the channel through which a message is transmitted is more important than the meaning of the message. He said the character of the medium is another message on its own. New media often have old media as content. He proposed that the medium not the content should be the focus of study. McLuhan observed that innovations over long periods affect the society, changing interpersonal relationships. The medium often results in unintended, unanticipated consequences, which we were unaware of from the outset. It will produce changes in our social and cultural conditions and such changes might be detrimental to society. The content of the medium blinds us to the character of the medium. McLuhan believed that the medium will significantly determine the way the message is received. The response of the audience will greatly depend on the channel through which the message is delivered. A new medium will not replace older media, but will complement them. He then came up with the phrase, the medium is the message. Even though McLuhan was in his time referring to radio and television, his analysis is applicable to social media. Now, what are the factors that determine selection of media? Let us examine some factors that could account for the selection of communication media. 1. 
objectives of the communication efforts. Objectives of communication efforts will determine the channel through which the message will be transmitted. An intention to persuade rural dwellers to give up certain harmful practices, for instance, will require the use of interpersonal contacts, radio and theater. Advertisement of technical products will be appropriate in specialized magazines. Two, the audience. The nature of the audience and their characteristics, such as their age range, media usage habits, educational levels, and the sources they consider credible should be taken into consideration while selecting communication channels. Using newspapers as the major channel to reach an audience consisting mainly of people who barely finish secondary school is not likely to produce much effect. Three, the message. The kind of message to be transmitted will determine the means of transmission. A message aimed at persuading prospective consumers of a product might require some emotional appeal and some demonstration of how to use the product. This will require the use of television supported by flyers or banners displaying the product. 4. Media reach. A medium which will reach the target audience should be selected. 5. Budget. Communicators should operate within a budget to meet their goals. 6. Communication research. Communication research should be used as the mechanism to finally determine the content of the message, suitability of media channels, objectives of the media campaign, cost and spread as the major variables before determining selection of media. What are communication media? Let us consider some media through which messages are transmitted. Books. Books are published and sold as individual units. They are less dependent on sponsorship by advertisers than other mass media channels. Books take longer time to produce than newspapers and magazines and the messages in books remain relevant for a long time. Books serve as the basic material for education and personal development. They preserve information. They preserve and mirror culture. They are also sources of entertainment. Books are of very many kinds, examples of which are school textbooks, higher education textbooks, paperbacks, professional books, reference books, books for standardized tests, and trade books. Books are now published in electronic form and can be accessed via the internet. Newspapers. Most newspapers are produced daily. There are weeklies and semi-weeklies, and some are published in the evening. There are specialized papers such as those focusing on sports and certain kinds of business. There are community newspapers, regional newspapers, national papers, and international papers. Most national and international papers have online versions. Some newspapers are published solely online. Magazines. Magazines are paperback publications which contain a variety of content and have a regular publication schedule. They could be published quarterly, monthly, bi-monthly and weekly. They contain a variety of articles, stories, photographs and advertisements. Articles on sports, economics, politics, family, fashion, humor, celebrities, 
self-development, health, and religion are part of the content of magazines. There are online magazines or electronic magazines available on the internet. Radio. The radio is everywhere. It is found in almost every car. It is around the house, in shops and workplaces, carried around by hawkers, commuters and joggers. It is found in cities and remote areas. It can be accessed on regular sets, on computers, cell phones and through various forms of new technology. Its use does not interfere with other activities. It provides news, local, regional, national and international. Listeners have access to music and various kinds of information, irrespective of their literacy levels. The internet has made various online radio stations available to the radio audience. Some programs make provision for immediate feedback. The radio is an ideal form of communication for development in third world countries. It is relatively cheap and programs are easy and cheap to produce. Television. The TV combines motion pictures with sound. It has evolved continuously since its invention in the early part of the 20th century. It has the capacity to transmit sound and pictures live, even though most programs are not live. Television creates an illusion of ongoing reality. It gives the viewer a sense of intimacy with the actors and presenters. Some individuals are able to combat feelings of loneliness and isolation by developing a relationship with characters from their favorite television programs. Cable television provides viewers with a very wide range of channels to choose from. Television is regarded as being primarily for entertainment, but it is the major source of news and information for most people. It is regarded as credible and trustworthy. During elections, it is a major channel of communication between politicians, the election management body, and the general public. It serves as a means of education to both children and adults. Apart from being a large channel for advertising, it is a means of social interaction. Viewing TV prepares people for various social interactions as the messages become subjects for conversation with their friends. Television has, however, been criticized for containing a lot of objectionable material, thereby promoting violence and immorality. It is accused of distorting reality. The characters are unnaturally attractive and they provide solutions to problems easily and quickly and viewers in their attempt to escape reality end up living in deception. The television has also been criticized for dominating people's time and competing with other activities as a lot of viewers spend almost all their leisure time watching it. Telephones. The telephone enables private reciprocity as two or more people can engage in a conversation even when they are too far apart to discuss directly. Let us examine some new media. Facebook. It is a social networking website which started as a way to reconnect with long-lost friends and keep in touch with contacts. Users are allowed to post comments news and content which they consider interesting. They can also chat live, share photographs and post links to other websites. Instagram. This is a platform which focuses on visual content. 
Users share pictures and videos. Users can share their pictures publicly or share them with pre-approved followers. LinkedIn. This platform operates within the context of professional and business networking. Employers will post vacancies and job seekers will post their credentials. Twitter. This is an online news and social networking service on which users can post messages of not more than 280 characters known as tweets. It targets people who have just enough time to skim the news with the option to click the link to more information. Twitter users are open to meeting new people and learning new things. Websites. Individuals and organizations own their own pages on the World Wide Web that contain information, information and thoughts transmitted in the communication process. Communication messages vary and the purposes for which they are transmitted vary. Media scholars pose it that the meaning assigned to messages depends on the receiver. Mass media messages influence and shape public opinion depending on the way the information is presented and received. Some media channels, for certain reasons, disseminate false and inflammatory messages about individuals or ideas. Media messages influence our lives greatly. News, for instance, informs us of what goes on around us and in the world. The information we receive then helps us to take decisions rationally. Media messages inform us of government policies and changes taking place in the society. We learn of innovations and how to adopt them to better our lives. Media messages exert persuasive influence over the audience. Repeated exposure to media messages could result in attitudinal change, which will result in change in behavior. In some cases, the persuasive effort is not intentional, as messages which were designed purely for entertainment could cause the audience to change their attitudes and behavior in favor of a particular cause. Individuals, institutions, and organizations such as development communicators, politicians, health workers, religious organizations, social workers, critics, human rights crusaders, and governments design messages transmitted through various media to persuade media consumers towards a particular cause. Members of the media audience are active. They know the kind of messages they want and decide the medium through which they would access such messages. In many cases, their beliefs and attitude hold value for them and they will defend themselves against attempts to impose a change. Psychologists, after years of study, maintain that certain ingredients contribute to the persuasive power of media messages. Some of them are source credibility, fear appeal, humor, a functional approach, and repetition. Number one, source credibility. A message has chances of being effective if the source is considered credible by the audience and credibility could depend on expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. Advertisers sometimes get notable people in the society to endorse their products. Persuasive practitioners also present their messages using people who are regarded as authorities in certain fields. Number two, fear appeal. A message could be effective if the consequences of rejecting the offer are shown to be severe. However, 
messages created to produce a certain response could evoke a different one. If the audience members feel that yielding to the message will be at some cost to them, the message may not be effective. Number three, humor or comedy. Individuals will be more receptive to messages if they feel that others find such messages funny. This is why radio and television producers introduce laugh tracks to certain programs. Number four, functional approach. People who design persuasive messages should make investigations to determine why people have the attitudes that require a change and the functions and values such attitudes have for those who hold them. Knowledge of the psychological needs which people try to meet by holding an attitude will help the persuader to approach the effort towards a change effectively. Number five, repetition. Messages are often repeated for impact. In conclusion, communication messages are transmitted through a variety of media. Channels regarded as old and traditional were once new. They are still, however, relevant despite the development of new media. Messages and the media through which they are transmitted are important elements in the communication process. You can now see that both the message and the media of communication are very important. Endeavor to attempt your quizzes and participate in the forum. Thank you.